Hello everyone, it's Serpent, and welcome back to another episode in Serpentland. Um, it may not look like it, but there is a problem with the villager breeder that um, we built last episode. And if I follow this nifty, niftily decorated tube over to here, you can see that th that problem is that A, the carrots aren't being picked up, but that is because the farmer's gone. Now, why could that be? You may ask. Well, I left a block out right there, and he sort of walked off into the water stream, and now he's in the fo in the uh, trading hall. So that's that's the, that's the reason that this isn't working overly well at the moment. Um, so <laughs> that sh that should be a pretty simple fix, though. I don't think that'll uh, take too long. In fact, we have a water stream, a water elevator right there. So if we just scooch the pigman off his little um, throne, and maybe over there for a second, and then then we can uh, get a farmer villager into this area. So that sh that shouldn't take too long, and I'll, I shall quickly do that. If we uh, if we go down here, I'm hoping we'll find some sort of farmer villager, relatively close to the outside here. Yeah, me, yeah. no, not really. Oh, hmm. I wonder if I could get that guy right there. Let's see. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's, that's looking good. Well, that was remarkably painless. Um, <laughs> yeah, I shall, uh, I shall get this guy over to the farm and get him in there in the in the manner that we just discussed. So hopefully that will be uh, fairly painless, such as the uh, getting him out of the cell was. Yeah, he's already in the minecart. Anyway, I'll do that, and then we can move on. Well, that was unbelievably straightforward. Really, that, that was, that was gorgeous. Um, yeah, anyway, that was, that was really, really easy. I am, uh, quite chuffed with that. Anyway, so, what we want to, uh, well, what I want to show you quickly is that over here, um, well, not really over here, but, um, there's a little viewing cell that I put here that was just on the way showing you what I actually wanted to show you which is right here actually I've already showed you this but whatever um, we have here a uh, bunch of villagers really and this is actually um, a trading hall sort of thing uh, it's I've I'm sort of I'm sort of liking this it's more of a, a free form trading hall I think we could, uh, and I think with a bit of refinement and making it actually, uh, a bit more functional, this could actually be a really good design. So I want to try and do that in this episode. One of the first, w one of the first problems with this design, it's not that I can't get to any villagers, because there's enough space that they all spread out pretty well. Um, so that's good. But the, uh, the problem is that they all run around. And I want to see if I can stop that. So I'm going to pop into a creative test world for a second and see if a little idea that I had um, actually works. So here we are on said creative test world. And if I type, um, well, actually, I'm not entirely sure what the uh, block ID of string is. But if we, if we say this, um, and then to maybe 20 blocks, well, 20. Yeah, anyway, that, <laughs> and like so, no block with ID string. Well, um, hmm, I have a very, I, I, I don't know where, what, <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm, I'm talking gibberish here. What I'm trying to say is that I don't know what the block ID of string is. Um, so I'm going to have to quickly look that up, sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. It's called tripwire. I guess that makes sense, since tripwire hooks, uh, tripwire. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what I want to do now is fill the same region on top of this with, a uh, carpet. Carpet. Did that work? It did indeed. Um, and now what we have is floating carpet, floaty carpet above, above, above a big drop. 
that's the important bit, the big drop. So mobs generally try not to walk off big drops. So I'm see I want to know if I have the uh, carpet here and the big drop. Will the mobs just stand there? Which is what we want. What we want is <laughs> this is looking quite promising. What we want is the mobs to just stand there and not uh and not move until they're nudged by others like that because that way they'll just spread out, but they won't actually just run around and be annoying like villagers do. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. Great. I see no movement here. And uh, w just out of curiosity, what happens if we put a, a scarer in the middle? Do they run then? Nice. Impressive. Good stuff. And uh, what if I take a zombie? Well, of course he's going to die, but yeah, look at that. That's great. Okay, <laughs> we have an, immob an immobilization method, and um, just for fun, let's uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> anyway, that's great. We have um, we have an uh, a functioning system there. So uh, now that we have a good idea. What I want, to, well, I've said that way too many times. What I want to do is, um, ooh, slimes, that's good. Um, anyway, I'm going to move the beacon because it was A, blocking the, uh, the slime farm, and now that I've <laughs> broken some blocks off it, it doesn't work. Not, I, I it's, uh, it's just normal, regular wimpy haste. Um, anyway, so I'm going to break, I'm going to dismantle this beacon, and, um, then I can, well, um, yeah, so I'm going to break this beacon and then I'll reassemble it somewhere else. So I'll basically fix the whole thing. Um, and then what we can do from there is we can, uh, dig out a cave for the little, what, what am I trying to say? Uh, yeah, so dig out a cave. Ow, ow. Ugh. There we go. And we also want those because they're expensive. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, we want to dig out a cave for the villager trading hall that we're going to build. And then we can uh, reroute the villagers so that they end up there, falling into holes left and right here. Um, and yeah, so, we, so we'll be rerouting the villagers into that new trading hall and well, we will probably be doing that after we build the trading hall, which was um, what I was about to explain. Then we'll, so we'll build the trading hall, then we'll reroute the villagers. So, oh, time to chuck some blocks away. Yeah, so that's basically the plan. Uh, for, so first, I suppose, is to get rid of this beacon. I have the beacon down. I, I don't have it back up yet, but I was just over here by the the um the amazing blender and i i just remembered that we haven't used it in a long time and that i also need fire resist potions so <laughs> observe <laughs> i remember this blender so long ago it happened it was but i remember it like it was yesterday does it still work hello yeah, there we go. All blending. <laughs> Every single cave should have a blender. Every last one. But yeah, that'll make nice fire resist potions, hopefully. Otherwise, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, what I was going to do was set up a beacon, although I can't remember or I can't decide where I want to put it. Um,. There's not really anywhere that I actually want it. Ooh, I should, I should cover up this hole. Job done. Anyway, um, there's not... There really isn't anywhere I want it, which is a little bit um, unpleasant. Also, I now, I now I remember that the blender causes a lot of lag on this computer, at least. It's not a very good computer. Uh, down to 41 frames, frames per second. Anyway, what I was going to, uh, going to say... Uh, put up the put up the beacon somewhere. Right. Um. Hmm. 
I, I don't like having big beams of light shining up through my rustic build. That sort of, uh, sort of doesn't fit in too well. Uh, hello, there, okay. Um, so I, I don't know where to put it, really. Maybe I'll just chuck it anywhere. Uh, yeah, sounds good to me. I'll put it right here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I remember the problem with this. Um, it's not actually a problem any of, uh, or, well, it's not act actually a problem I showed on camera. It's, um, basically, this has no water bottle, uh, backlogage at all whatsoever in any way. Hello? Uh, aren't there supposed to be droppers here? Hello? Oh, there are hoppers. Okay. Okay, I got it. Anyway. Um, okay. Three minutes. That's not what I asked for. Then again, maybe I got it wrong and redstone doesn't do that. Um, hold on. <laughs> this is a jumbly mess of, of gross redstone, really. But what I was going to say was, um, the problem that I never actually talked about was that there is only... A backlog for five <laughs> items, five uh, of those things, the um, water bottles, and that's uh, that. That basically meant that I was just having it run there with no. Uh, where's where's the redstone? Where'd it go? Um, I'll pretend that's normal. Um, anyway, uh, what I was going to say, now that I've lost my hopper. Um, was that there's no backlog for those. So that basically means that, um, that basically means that there weren't any bottles, and that meant that, um, unhappiness. So, uh, yeah, I had to fix that right there. But anyway, that's, that's just what, what I wanted to say. I'm going to try and find that piece of redstone dust, dust now. Well, I have, um, well, actually, I'm not entirely sure what I recorded in the last clip, but either way, I have um, put up the beacon, of course. Oh, right, I've, I've shown that, definitely. But mainly, um, this here is the is the straight path from here to the X and um, X and Z of the um, tunnel. So if I dig down a bit here, uh, we should be coming... We should come to the, uh, tunnel, ideally. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this will work too well, though. We'll see. Well, there's the, uh, outside world. Looks like I missed it a little. <laughs> uh, okay. I need to toss some junk out. Let's see. Um, the diorite can go, the granite can go, um, crafting table, hoe coal, uh, yeah, anyway, um, what I was going to do was, yeah, well, just connect these two, basically, not a whole lot to it, <laughs> um, although, obviously, it's a little bit more difficult than I expected, because I didn't get it very well, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, it doesn't need to be a clean connection, a straight connection, in fact, it would probably be better to have it, uh, bit bendy, a bit, um, unstraight, and that's just because caves generally aren't too straight, uh, so yeah, I think that worked out pretty well, just there, and of course I will, um, I won't just leave it looking so disgusting as this, I'll, I'll pretty it up, of course, but that comes a little bit later once I've actually dug it out. Alright, I have reconnected the tunnel right here. As you can see, it goes straight from the uh, opening right there, and all the way over to the villager trading area thingy. So, what, um, oh, that was a terrible idea. Don't, go away, go away, go away. There, okay, crisis averted. Um, yeah, so I've been replacing a bit of the diorite, which is why I, inst I instinctively got rid of that, as well as the granite, of course just because they clash so violently with the stone. Uh, dirt comes too, um, don't worry about that. Uh, it's just, um, most of it is in slightly more inconvenient places than the, uh, other stuff. 
Um, although, I mean, not the stuff in the ceiling. That's fine, but there is a couple blocks in there that I won't be moving just yet. Uh, for what should be obvious reasons. Um, so, I guess what we do now is we just clear this room out a bit more so that it's not so cramped and um, unpleasant. And then I guess we can... Um, uh, I guess we can decorate it then, at least a bit, at least a little bit. And also, I want to expand the trading hall so that the carpets, uh, well, and then put the carpets and string in, because I think that'll, uh, well, that'll improve the whole thing a bit. One other kink in the system uh, is that I'm not actually entirely sure how I'm going to kill them. I've just been, uh, hello. Where are you? Whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a... I th I'm pretty sure that was drowning noise. But anyway. Um, sorry, this is getting annoying. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, if you weren't a librarian, you'd be in some deep doo-doo. Um, okay. Scooch into there. Uh, yeah, okay. So, what I was going to say was, I want to widen it out and pop the carpets in, and not really a whole lot else, because that, well, I don't know, I, it depends how much time we will have left after that. Well, this room is actually beginning to look quite mighty fine. Um, if you're wondering about the piston, the button, and the stone pickaxe, it's my, uh, my patented method of swapping blocks out. Um, basically, I... I don't really want to swap this one out, but I placed this here, and then I placed the cobblestone, and then the button, and I, I pushed the, that in, and then I used the stone pick to uh, to be able to um, mine, with, mine without breaking the block, and then, uh, well, okay, I'll just show you. Um, do I have any andesite? Okay, no, just a second. <laughs> Alright, um, so basically what I do is I push that in, and then... I can do that, and if I tried to use my beefy pick, it would just uh, destroy the whole thing. It would just insta mine. But since uh, the stone pick mines really slowly, uh, I can do the sort of I can actually get both of them right. Anyway, uh, that was poorly explained, but I demonstrated it, so you should get it anyway, or else. Um, that wasn't what I wanted to say. I think um, that wasn't what I wanted to say, though. What I was going to say is that this place is actually beginning to look quite good. Uh, I've swapped out most of the blocks in the little line here. Uh, I did say I'm going. I was going to expand this, and I, I still, uh, I still sort of, I still will. I think, probably around the edges. Um, but yeah, I've I've just done a little bit because I was getting tired of looking at all the grossness. Um, and I have to admit, it feels really good to have um, actually made something that doesn't look terrible, and and I'll still be working on it, of course. But uh, it it's just nice not to be walking around in a in a an ugly cesspool. So what I was going to say, or uh, I don't know, I think I said what I was going to say. But moving on, uh, hmm, right. So I want to I want to put in the carpets and the strings so that the uh, villagers won't move, and that'll be really nice, because then I'll be able to actually uh, interact with them and uh, trade. So that's something that I want to do, I want to get that done. I've got some string here, but that's obviously not going to be enough. So I shall uh, I shall take you on a quick jaunt over to the mob farm, because I, I don't think most of you have seen this. Um, that was well done. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll take the uh, ender portal elevator then, hopefully. Um, sometimes this thing doesn't work so well. Let's see, whoop. Yeah. That's, um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's a little bit awkward, it hits the walls often. It's pretty difficult to uh, get it right. Uh, what? What? Okay, forget it, I'm, t I'm taking the ladder. Alright, we're up now. Uh, that was lag. <laughs> that was, um, more lag. Yet more lag. And we're off.
Okay. Are you sure this thing's punched too? Yeah, okay. It doesn't seem very strengthy. Anyway, over here is my mob farm. Not sure how many of you have seen it, and none of you have seen it in detail, because I built it long before I was doing YouTube. Well, not long before, but before. Come on. We're wasting arrows here. Um, but basically, one water source uh, snakes down the whole thing and washes all the mobs out. And, oh, there, we, there it is working. So we've got some, uh, we've got some mob drops. That's how I've been how I've been getting all my bones and my uh, arrows as well and stuff like that. But we also have a lot of unused string, which is very nice. Oh, gunpowder too. Good, good. <laughs> unused gunpowder too, since I, I use my um, punch two bow generally. But anyway, we have a bunch of string there, so we're all covered in that department. We've also got enough wool from that to uh, actually make all the carpets, which is nice. Um, so, that's just, uh, where I've been getting all my, all my materials right there, and, uh, yeah, so, time to make, time to make the, uh, carpets and, in turn, the, uh, put the string down. I don't know if I actually want to, uh, make a, a full stack of wool, probably just 32 will be enough for the, uh, carpets, and I've got some in here, too, from my wool farm. Uh, generally I just go out there and fetch some whenever I need it. But anyway, um, I'm going to quickly craft all of that up, and then uh, we can start putting that down. So what I've done here is I've just uh, extended this a bit and squiggled it around the corner, and now it goes over here. I've also dug a trench, which will be which we will um, want to do for all of this, actually. Um, so actually I'll, I'll get started on that right now. Uh, and, and of course, the next thing that we want to do is to get the villagers, uh, out of the way a little. <laughs> oh, right, I remember why I left. I don't have any torches. Um, anyway, so we want to get the villagers out of the way a little so that we can put the, uh, string and carpet in and not get, uh, a villager flood into the area down below there. Um, so... I'm not entirely sure how we'll be doing that. Right, torches. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we'll, how we'll be doing that. Uh, so, probably with water, we'll push them into a corner and then uh, grab them out with, or and then put the stuff in and then push another, push them back over into the corner with another uh, piece of water. I think that would probably be the best. Um, let's see. So we want that block up to there and no farther or else we'll get a bit of villager flooding okay high intensity <laughs> so um oh for a second there i thought i'd fallen into something actually um bad anyway so what uh yeah i think that's about it um that's all we need to do so of course this little pit that we're digging at the moment um Good, good. <laughs> this pit that we're digging, it will uh, make it so that the villagers won't want to walk, and that's just because they won't want to walk off a cliff, and since they'll perceive the whole thing as, cliff, as a cliff, they won't walk at all. And that's really good, because we don't like them running around, because that's annoying. Um, makes them hard to get to. Anyway, over here... Uh, yeah, over here we have some... Hmm, I'm just mulling over ideas a little while I'm talking, which is never a good idea, but I'm mulling over ideas a bit on how we can uh, do this without destroying the carpet repeatedly, because the carpet is easily washed away as well as the string underneath it, and that wouldn't work out too well. Um, is that too dark? Hmm, I think that's probably too dark. That's unpleasant. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to fix that up. I've probably got some bone meal somewhere. Uh, nope. I left my landscaping chests behind. Why do I do that? Anyway. Um, so, it's going to be a bit tricky getting the, uh, getting the villagers out of the way without destroying all the carpets that we're placing. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to be doing that, but I'm I'm sure it'll uh, it'll go well as always. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, so the tricky part is about to come. The uh, villagers need to be scooched, and scooching is difficult. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, hold on. Is this is this really perfect? I doubt it, but is it? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, it's not quite perfect, but I think it'll probably do. Uh, so I'm I'm going. Well, eh, whatever. I'm just going to place a water bucket uh, <laughs> where that guy's standing, hopefully. Eh. Not there. Uh, okay, <laughs> that was close. I keep, I keep flooding this whole tunnel and knocking out all the torches. Uh, it's annoying. Okay, now you two just need to scooch. Scooch, oh, no, don't come back. Um, is it that block? Oh, really? Okay. I thought the, uh, I thought it was a little bit different from that. Okay, now we, uh, break those blocks out. Uh-huh. Okay. And I also think we should place a block back in here. And then, uh, place that in again. Eh. No. No. Um... Okay, I'll place it there, and then do that, and then do that. How's that? How's that? Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's working. You aren't going... Uh, hold on. I think villagers are 2.9 blocks high. Hold it. Um, it's possible that they don't fit there. I need to test this out. Just give me a second. Never mind. I can't. Um, I can't look it up because the internet's not working at the moment. So, I guess I'll just uh, break break the blocks. First, I need to make sure that they're properly blocked in. The uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about breaking the block above his head now, because I think there's probably gravel on top. No? Okay. We're good. Okay. And get out my stone pick. Okay, yeah, that that was the problem. They just couldn't fit under it. They're, they were too fat. Uh-huh. So much gravel. I hate gravel. Uh, worst block in the game. Sort of. I mean, it's good for building, but yeah, everyone hates it. All the same. Okay, so I think that's about good. We're we're starting to get there, and uh, I'm going to attempt. Come on, scooch a little bit further. Okay, good. And then uh, now we can move this closer, inching it closer, like that, and then break that block. Okay, I think this will work. I'm just going to keep doing this, and hopefully we won't destroy any carpets. So, I've done the uh, the part that we cleared there, and now if we break this block, and then also we have to we have to do that, right? Clear out the ceiling for them. Okay, I was worried the water there would fall, but I'm... Hey, 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 that's not allowed. Um, what do I do? Oh wait, this is a this is a disposable. Okay. Uh. Hmm. No, no, stop it. Go away. Okay. Um. Where's my uh? Okay. My Emerald City bow. Uh. Uh. Don't use that. There we go, okay. All safe, okay. That was a bit of a bad thing. Okay, now we can break these blocks. And this one too, and that one, and that one. 
Uh, this one, this one, this one. It let me over. Okay, that one. We have to place these and knock out all of those as well. Okay, all's good there. So, oh, I think a new villager just popped in. Okay. Hmm. So, what we need to do now is get these villagers out of the way. So I'm going to actually hop in there and shove them over myself because we need to get them a, a little bit farther than this before we can actually use the water. Otherwise, we will be destroying carpets, which is what we didn't want. <laughs> um, so, ugh. scooch over. And then um, you scooch over as well. Ugh. So, so annoying working with, with mobs. And uh, you with the with the big nose, also scooch over. Ugh. Come on, come on. Ugh. Okay, no, no, so close. Okay, I shall give up diplomacy. Rip. Well, soon to be rip. I won't say um. I won't say from what though. Yeah, I sort of like toolsmiths, though. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> um, don't worry about the killing and the, the villager popularity stuff. That, um, I know, I know that stuff very well. Um, anyway, um, not, not to, I'm not trying to brag or anything. Just, um, it's not going, killing them directly, I don't think will, will hurt them. Uh, I am... Yes, okay, I did remember that correctly. Uh, yeah, anyway, I remembered that the, uh, that that was exactly the right number, or else the water would flood the carpets. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so, now if these villagers would be c so kind as to scooch over a bit, um, specifically that green one, of course, they won't because of the, uh, the whole villagers aren't going to walk. Maybe they won't go around corners. Yeah. Ha <sighs> my plan, it was so perfect, but now they won't go around corners. We're sh we can be sure of that. I guess with some clever water streaming, it should all go well. Um, basically, if we just put a water stream right here, then he'll be pushed along. So that's, that's fine, I can, I can live with that. At least I think so. We may have to, we may in fact have to um, get rid of this bend in any way, but either way what we're doing is fine. So, I'm going to push this green, green dude over here and keep pushing him. <laughs> and now we're left with this. I've gotten all the carpets down, all the villagers were out of the way enough that I managed to get them out, but I'm still a little bit... Um, dubious about the concept of corners. Um, I think probably the best way of doing this... Meh, I don't... I, okay, I, I've got to be honest, I'm not sure if there is a good way of doing it. I'm going to try the water streams, but I'm not really too hopeful about that. Uh, just simply because of... Well, I, I, I don't know. It, they might work. They might work. I'm not going to, to tap the the idea on the head and say you're stupid yet. Um, ugh. Okay. The great, the great thing is that now none of them move and I don't have to worry about um, letting them out just so long as I don't open the uh, lock right next to them. But anyway, I'm going to struggle my way out of here and pop in a little water stream, basically. Although, um, I'm, I also have to move this out because I don't think I don't, I don't think I want to deal with two water streams to push them around that slightly nicer bend. Um, I think I'll just deal with the uh, slightly less good looking uh, way of doing it, which is the way I'm doing right now. I'll make that pretty in a minute. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Trying to, uh, trying to get back here. So basically I'm going to uh, fill this in a little and then pop some... Uh, pop some carpets and strings down, 
and all that's done and we're ready for a test although um actually having said that we should uh put those in to catch the water eh. like that and then um now we're stuck great so now we place the water in right there yeah and ideally that will work <laughs> i mean I, I i don't think there's a reason it shouldn't I'm pretty sure all all is well. I suppose that's a fairly different take on the matter than my uh, previous it, it'll never work. I don't think there's a way. Um, just let me pop that in. But the point is, um, this might actually work. <laughs> Does it look really ugly? Uh, it doesn't look that bad. And if I replace Scooch, and if I replace that, Sorry, I was just trying to, I'm just trying to get a better look, because they, that villager just made a, a weird um, motion. I was trying to figure out what caused it, but anyway. Um, if we, yeah, so, I mean, that, that doesn't look terrible. Maybe if we popped a slab in, which I don't have, maybe if we, if we popped a slab in on top of that little stone block we have here. Yeah, that's... It's looking pretty good, pretty good. We can still access them, and you can't really see the uh, the water. Okay, I like that. I can I can cope with that. We might actually just get rid of the slab because that's a little bit annoying. But eh, for now, I'll leave it just because. But anyway, I'm going to do the same over here as we did over there, and I think that will I think that will be that. Well, that's um that's all done really. I have um, pushed these all along, I've gotten the water stream over here in, I've changed all of this up, and I've basically terraformed the whole room and some of the pathway, not all of the t pathway. That, the, yeah, the path is um, not done. But this room, I think it actually is. I'll probably, <laughs> I'll probably end up keep, I'll probably ending, end up uh, adding to it ever, ever so slightly as the, as time goes on, just just muddling around every now and then <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's about done although we do need some storage so I'll figure that out sometime uh, but yeah looking good looking good uh, actually there's a block open right above that water stream so I'll fix that in just a moment but yeah everything's all uh, yeah I think everything's all finished <laughs> I've done some chisel and bit leaves done some crystals more than one block um, these ones take up more than one block. I think it looks really good. Um, yeah, so I think that's that, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This has been Serpent, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.